Greetings, Echo Casters. This is Echo Craft. And um, as you can see on my screen, there's a big giant logo there. It says ASM, Ashan Sound Machines. That's because I bought a Hydrosynth. Yes, I did. It intrigued me. I saw it at NAM. I played with it for maybe two seconds because everybody was trying to get in there at the time. That's when they launched it, actually. It was launched at NAM, and uh, I was blown away by it. Um, always thought of buying one, never really did. Um, but the Synth Samurai, he has the uh, Hydra Synth Deluxe. He says it's amazing. He started watching a bunch of videos. Uh, I was caught between that and the new Oberheim TEO-5. And a lot of people said you should have got the TEO-5. I don't know. But I got the Hydrosynth, and I didn't get the Deluxe, and I didn't get the, um, I didn't get the sound module, uh, which I wanted, and they didn't have. And I didn't get the Explorer, because I thought that was kind of like a little guy behind me there, the... Um, the uh, Atoria Mini Freak. So I ended up getting the regular Hydra synthesizer, and I don't know, it has a pitch control on it, and the very next day after I ordered it, Sweetwater got more of the module in. So it is what it is. But anyway, kids, uh, without further ado, we're going to do an unboxing and then we're going to uh, do some sound testing and see what it sounds like. So uh, here we go. Well, here we go. Let me get some lights on. Light on in here. So, basically, saw this a while ago at NAM. I'm a little late to the party. I was considering this synthesizer a while ago, and I never pulled the trigger on it. And I probably should have, but now I have one. This is the ASM Hydrosynth. I'm unboxing this puppy right now. So I, I believe it's pronounced Eshon Sound Machines. And uh, yeah, I just purchased it. I was gonna buy the desktop module, but I decided not to because I am a keyboard guy and I like modules, but I don't really have any room for them but I did have one more spot in the new liquid stands and I'll put the link in the description below for liquid stands um, great company they actually gave me the opportunity to um, basically review one of their stands and I got to keep it so that's kind of nice uh, so this is going to go on top of on the the um, Second tier of the liquid stands above the Osmos. Yeah. So let's unbox this puppy. All right, I managed to get it out of the box. It's a heavy sucker. This has definitely got some weight to it. It says, before you start working with the Hydra synth, please visit a SeanSoundMachines.com and download the latest firmware. Please download the updater and patch manager software as well. Excellent. All right. Uh, one of the things I thought was very cool was that the uh, Hydrosynth people give you a real owner's manual. And they give you a bunch of stickers. Cool, huh? Let's see. Let's open up this guy. And here's the, oh, that's a nice owner's manual. Glossy cover, very nice. 
and we've got a whole bunch, they give you a whole bunch of stickers. Wow. Like all kinds of stuff. I love stickers. Very cool. Um, yeah. Anyway, we'll look at those later. Let's get this happening. So I'm just going to take this off. One of the uh, rubber end cheeks here. And again, this synthesizer has seriously got some weight to it. Uh, kind of blown away by that. Oh, and here's the power supply over here. And another cool thing I thought about this synth, the power supply, like I always label my power supplies. And one thing I thought was cool was ASM, basically they, uh, they label this for you, which is kind of nice. Yeah. All right. Cool beans. Get this off. And so I started to say this synthesizer has some weight to it. And a lot of people were saying that. They're like, man, it's heavy. Um, I can get this off. I don't want to break anything. There we go. It's got some nice rubber feet. Put this back in the box. This is, he this is a heavy synthesizer, man. This is almost as heavy as the Matrix group. Wow, all metal construction. And you know how I am about opening stuff. I'm horrible at it. I'm gonna go around the other side here. Every synth I open, I always say, is really super nice. So this has a uh, polyphonic aftertouch. Keys feel really, keybed feels nice. I love this. I love these. This feel, the buttons feel, wow, the buttons feel great. Like everybody was saying the buttons feel awesome. Now, I don't remember playing, I remember playing with this at NAMM, but everything was going so fast. And, you know, NAMM was like, there were so many people uh, at NAMM. So, yeah. So there it is. There's the Hydra scent and, and, you know, everything, everything seems to be, um, very nice, very nice feel, very solid feel. Quality, like you can tell it's quality. It's got a nice finish on it. And on the back, I'm just gonna, so I don't have to pick it up because it is heavy. I've got output right and left. I've got pedal sustain expression. Uh, I've got MIDI through, out and in. I've got USB and I've got the 12 volt, uh, 100, uh, 1000 milliamp uh, power supply and an on off button. So there it is, there's a volume button here. This is super nice. We're gonna get this in the studio, we're gonna hook it up and we're gonna see what we can do with it and here we go. Thank you. 
Wow. I mean, again, every time I buy a new synthesizer, I'm blown away. Um, I'm going to go a little deeper into it. Uh, I haven't really initialized a patch, but maybe I will. I don't know. I'm still going through some of the presets. Um, yeah, Hydrosynth's amazing. It's, it's just amazing. It's wicked heavy, too. That's the other thing. Um, it's a very heavy synth. It's, it's built like a tank. Uh, all metal construction, the knobs, everything feels great on it. Like I said in the unboxing video, I can't believe how good this synthesizer actually feels. Um, and it's, it's built like a tank, like I said. Um, so, you know, I'm probably going to do a few more videos on it. Um, I know I said that about the uh, Mini Freak, which I, I have a couple of videos that I'm going to be doing on the Mini Freak, but ASM Hydrosynth. Ashan, or Ashan, I, I don't know how you say it. It must be Ashan uh, Sound Machines, Ashan Sound Machines, uh, Hydrosynth. Check it out. Uh, I'm sure it's on countless recordings now. It's, you know, it's four years old. Um, but, uh, you know, I just, I can't believe how serious sound creation wise this thing can be. And I haven't even d dove deep into it yet and I'm going to, but, uh, I just want to do a quick video of it. And again, you know, show you that I bought something else because that's what I do. And, um, you know, anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, um, to my channel. I appreciate it. Appreciate everyone who has subscribed. Um, you know, hit the, uh, the the bell so that you can get notified when I come out with new videos. And uh, like I always say, you know, I, I always say, you know, stay frosty, stay creative. Oop. <laughs> Peace.